At this stage of the engine build, I'm going to go ahead and put the cam in. Uh, the reason I'm doing that so early is I want to make sure it spins freely in there. I've already had cam bearings installed cocked where the cam didn't spin and after the short blocks assembled it's difficult to take it back. But for now I'm just going to put ultra slick engine assembly lube on the journals of the cam. With the main bearing shells in place, you put the crank in there and screwed the studs in, had the caps on here. The reason we did that was we were fitting this windage tray to make sure the studs uh, were in the right place because there's three different length studs. Now I'm just going to go ahead and seat all these studs with an Allen wrench. I'm going to go ahead and plastic gauge this engine um, just to make sure the machine shop didn't make any mistakes. And as a note, the, neat, the, the number one main bottom half doesn't have a groove cut in it. When you put these caps on, you've sure, got to make sure you have them in the right direction. There's a plastic gauge in the journal. You want to put that on there with no assembly lube and you don't want to turn the crank after you have the caps torqued down. You can torque the caps down, then back them off, and then see how much that stuff is squashed. So I'm going to go ahead and torque these down in three increments, starting at 35 foot-pounds. don't want to hold the socket when you torque it, it'll screw up your torque read. Snapped. Torquing from the inside out. You can see I've taken the main cap off and the plastic gauge got squashed out. And to gauge your clearance, all you do is hold up the, the package you came in and find which one matches the thickness of the squashed plastic gauge. Okay, we're getting ready to put the rear main seal in and Paul has an explanation for you. This lip has to face to the inside of the block so that it will control the oil so it cannot come out. The other way would let the oil slide through. We're going to also paint a little on the mating surface from the drain groove to the back of the block. And we're going to go ahead and loop up all the bearings now. So I have all the caps seated now. I'm going to go ahead and torque them down in three steps. And then the crank will be installed.